What's up guys, Parker here with another Power BI 3 minute tip. As always, if you liked the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell for more content. You may have heard that Python is now supported in Power BI, so I want to go ahead and take you through how you run a Python script on your data set. Specifically, we are going to use Python in order to fill missing values with the average values of their columns. It's actually a pretty cool trick that we can do in just a couple lines of code. So the first thing that we're going to have to do in order to get Python running on our machine is to download Python. I'll include this link in the description. So go ahead and download any version of Python you want, but I'm going to be running Python 3.7. So the commands might be different for you and me if we use different versions. So I've actually already downloaded Python. You go ahead and click this button. It'll run a little installer and then you'll have Python. Uh, installed on your machine. Um, I went ahead and did the basic installer. I didn't do any custom settings. So once you do that, you can open up Power BI Desktop. Give that just a second to load. And we're going to have to enable Python in the preview features. Um, so you'll not see the Python logo over here until you come to File, Options and Settings. And under Preview Features, we have this Python support. So go ahead and check that on and it's going to have to restart Power BI in order for you to get Python running. So go ahead and load Power BI one more time. And this time you'll notice a little Python logo over here. And that's actually a Python visual. So we're gonna go ahead and load some data. So I have a CSV file with some missing data. I'm gonna go ahead and open that. And in the preview, you'll be able to see that missing data. You'll see some nulls scattered throughout. So we'll go ahead and click load. And once that's loaded in, we can go to edit queries and we see all these null values and we're gonna to wanna to get rid of those. So the first thing in general is I wanna show you how to run a Python script. Very similar to if you ran uh, our scripts in the past, you go to the transform tab and there's a run Python script button up here. So let's go ahead and click that and it's going to hold your data in the same way as our scripts, basically in a data frame called data set. So if you just went ahead and clicked OK right now, it's going to give you an error because it says no module named pandas. Pandas is uh, basically a Python module that allows you to work in data frames. It's very convenient, really great syntax. So we're going to actually have to install that package before we move on. So since I assume you're on Windows, let's go to command prompt. And all you have to do is, if you're using Python version 3.7, is type in pi-m pip install pandas. And uh, pip is basically a package installer that will install this pandas package. You might get different messages from me because I've already downloaded pandas before, so it's using everything from a from my cache location. So it's installing pandas. And once it does so, we're gonna be able to uh, be able to handle the data sets passed in by Power BI. So give that just a second to install. And it was successfully installed for me. So now we can just go ahead and rerun this Python script. So if we go to home, refresh preview, it'll now work and we return the data set. So remember that when you run a script, R script or Python script in Power BI, it returns any object that is a data frame and then you have to select that object. For example, if I wanted to create a new data frame, we'll call it final, we can set that equal to data set, our, our passed in data set, dot loc, uh, dot loc, that is a function of pandas that allows you to specify which rows and columns you want to return. So if we want to specify all columns, we give it a, um, a colon. So that's returning all columns. If we wanted to return a specific, uh, a specific column name, we can type in a column name. One of ours is alcohol since we're working with red wine data. So this result right here says give me all of the columns or all of the rows and just the alcohol column. If we go ahead and click OK, we'll see that this actually doesn't show up in our list of selectable data frames. That's because this isn't a data frame. In order to turn it into a data frame, we can type in, uh, we actually need to import pandas. I'm going to give it an alias. So we're going to say import pandas as pd. So we need to invoke 
PD dot data frame to turn this into a data frame. And then now final is now a data frame made up of just the alcohol column. So if we go ahead and click OK, now we will see, uh, we should see final. And we do. If we click on final, it'll now add the next step to only bring back that alcohol column. So once that finishes, we have just the alcohol column. That's kind of how you work with Pandas data frames and how you can just slice based on a column. Real quick, I want to show you how you can only bring back a certain number of rows. So if I wanted to bring back row uh, well, five through 10, but in reality, this is zero base index, so that's row six through 11. We can go ahead and click OK. And when it finishes, you see we only have six rows now. So that's kind of the basics of how you would use pandas to slice through your data. There are a couple other handy functions that I want to run by you. Uh, dot loc allows you to specify rows and a named column. Iloc allows you to specify rows and columns based on their numerical values. So if alcohol was the third row, we would pass in a two for iloc, similar indexing as rows. Um, so we're actually not going to use this, but I wanted to show you just how you do that in pandas because it's a pretty simple uh, extension of Python and it is very convenient. So we're actually going to use Python in order to um, fill our null values with the average of their columns. So let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, we're actually going to get rid of these both. Let's go ahead and take a look at our data. We have a bunch of nulls in here and um, there are a couple methods in which you can deal with these nulls. One of the obvious answers is to get rid of the entire record. Uh, sometimes you just want to get rid of the row of data that has a null because it's not really going to help you visualize, it's not going to help you in any machine learning um, practicality. So you can delete the row entirely or you can fill it with the average value of the column, which is another common method of how you would deal with that. Um, you could also predict the value, which in a future video I'll be showing you how you can apply machine learning to predict the value of that null. Um, but in this, value, uh, in this video, we're going to go ahead and fill the nulls with the average or mean of their column. And you can do this in Power Query, but it takes a few steps. In Python, you can do it in just one line of code. So in order to do that, we are going to go to transform and run Python script again. And all we really have to do is type in the name of our new return data says final. We're going to say dataset dot fill NA. So it's filling the NAs. NA is short for NAN, which stands for not a number, so null. Fill NA dataset dot mean. So we're filling the NAs with the mean of the column. So go ahead and click OK. Go ahead and click Final. And now you see that it is actually filling those null, those, uh, null values with the average of their columns and it kind of makes sense so this is around 100 where these vary around 100 or 2.34 where these vary kind of around the high ones low twos so it's working just like we expect and it's really easy you can do it with one line of code uh, pretty cool pretty simple uh, i hope you now have a better feel of how you're going to run a python script to transform your data in power bi make sure you hit the subscribe button and i will see you in the next power bi three minutes here.